accept all the flattery. Unbelievable. Amazing job, sir. Brilliant, Mr. President. It was President Trump's nemesis who will be remembered for ripping up his speech. The state of their union is ice cold. She ripped him a new one. I think it was a new low. The shredder wasn't available, and so she did what she needed to do. I wasn't sure if she was ripping up the speech or ripping up the Constitution. Mike Pompeo tweeted Lisa Simpson ripping up her own civics essay. Then he got ripped by a former Simpsons producer, saying, Mr. Secretary of State, please do not ever, ever, ever use Simpsons material. Both fans and critics dubbed Pelosi Nancy the Ripper, Unlike their previous run-ins, when she famously pointed a finger at him and clapped back at the president, this time he didn't see it coming. Of course, when Nancy Pelosi went on a tear, others couldn't resist following suit. It was very clear. I'm Are moving on from Wraps up the show. We got radio talk show host. Speaker Pelosi told House Democrats, he shredded the truth, so I shredded his speech. What so it was the courteous thing to do, considering the alternative. The shredding even eclipsed the snubbing, if that's what it was. It looked like he blew her off with the handshake. Some people say, no, no, he just didn't see it. Okay, oh, he saw it. And then there was all that head shaking. I keep my promises. We did our job. By Nancy. The big pharmaceutical companies. We have approved a record number of... And other Democrats, along with mouthing things like, not true... Illegal aliens, forcing taxpayers to subsidize... What is wrong with her? She looked like she was reading the yeah. Cheesecake Factory menu. The guy who avoided Pelosi by hanging a towel over his TV missed the big moment, but Team Trump turned it into what Mitch McConnell thinks of the articles of impeachment. Does that count as a rip-off? Jeannie Mo, CNN, New York. Oh.